estimating the value of ending inventory in case it is destroyed or stolen. Assume that the company's warehouse was impacted by a fire incident. The fire destroyed all of the inventory. In a periodic system, there is no tracking of the inventory sold, so the manager is worried. Because to claim insurance, we need to know the value of the ending inventory. But the accountant has an idea. The accountant knows that by knowing the cost of goods sold, it would be possible to arrive at the ending inventory. But the manager is wondering how are we going to calculate the cost of goods sold. We could calculate the goods available for sale as we know the beginning inventory of $50,000 and purchases of $150,000. So the goods available for sale is equal to $200,000. Based on the previous period sales and cost of goods sold, we can estimate the percentage of cost of goods sold to sales. The percentage is calculated by dividing the cost of goods sold by sales. In such a case, it is equal to 60%. Knowing the percent of cost of goods to sales and knowing that the current period sales revenue is $150,000, the current period's cost of goods sold could be calculated by multiplying this percent by the current sales revenue. This is, of course, assuming that the percent is the same as last period. So cost of goods sold will be equal to $90,000. You recall the relationship between goods available for sale, cost of goods sold, and ending inventory. Knowing any two variables, the third could be calculated. In our case, the ending inventory is unknown, so it is calculated by subtracting the estimated cost of goods sold from the goods available for sale. In our example, the goods available for sale is equal to $200,000. The estimated cost of goods sold of $90,000 is subtracted to get estimated ending inventory of $110,000.